Tracy. Welcome back to my channel. This is the first layout that I'm doing for my July uh, Mini Kit Monday. And I do apologize for it being so late, but uh, some things have happened that caused it so obviously. But I'm trying to get it up as soon as I can. Uh, so this page is a color block. Now I got the idea from our... Um, Secret Not Secret Kit Club, the party that we had, and that there was a, a a challenge to do color blocks. So I thought that I would do like a sticker sneeze. I wanted to get rid of a lot of those stickers. So I started to lay down one of the stickers, and then I thought, well, you know what? I really would like the background to be colored. So I could have either done color cardstock, which I had plenty of, or I could do this watercolor. So th those are the little art crayons from Vicki Booten. And one thing I love about them is they, they are so smooth and they blend so well. Got to make sure that you add, you know, plenty of water. Now, before I lay down this mixed media, I did put some clear gesso. It's from Art Basic and it, um, I got it, um, Gee, I don't remember where I got it. I'm sorry, guys. Um, I did get online, and um, I, I love it. It is clear. It doesn't go on gritty like the other stuff that, that we can get at Michael's. And you can tell with the yellow there, the different uh, shades of yellow, you can tell where I kind of missed with the gesso, but that's okay. That's all right. So I drew lines first to figure out how I wanted to do the color blocking. I wasn't quite sure how I was going to do this. And normally when I do color blocking, I do squares, but I wanted to be a little unique and do things a little different. So I decided to do it at an angle. And you like the way I just cleaned that up? That was only because there's gesso on there. If you had that on paper that didn't have gesso on it, you wouldn't have been able to, to clean that up. And when I'm smudging with my fingers on the little... Uh, plastic it's because I pressed too hard with the crayons and they kind of had some clumps there so I didn't want to have that on my page so I just mashed it down but you just add plenty of water and isn't this blue just beautiful gosh it's like um, tropical water I mean it's just beautiful and then the next color I'm going to choose is pink. I really thought it was kind of a red. When it even looked red at this point, but when I added the water, things really changed. It didn't matter whether I did red or pink. Um, I was going to use the stickers that I had. I had plenty of red stickers, plenty of pink stickers. And I really didn't think too much about which area was going to be bigger. Um, you know, I I just went with it. This was all, you know, flying by the seat of my pants kind of a thing. And I know it looks kind of messy. It, it just looks kind of uh, artsy. I, I, that'd be a good way to describe it. Uh, and I let it uh, dry completely. Even though I put paper towels on it, it's still not dry. And the paper that I used for that was from, it's kind of thin cardstock they are from a paper pad so the opposite side is some paper that I really wasn't planning on using so I hate to be wasteful and it worked out great I mean it was a little thin and it was a little warpy and I ended up uh, adhering another page just like it to it and so it had to be double the thickness but it, it's all good. So as you can see I'm doing color on color all the blues go on the blue and this was a great opportunity for me to use all those stickers since I am trying to use up my stash and I can guarantee I doubt I would ever use those stickers. I wouldn't want to save anything because like I've said before, this is kind of my mantra lately. Uh, you might as well use up what you have in your stash because there are lovely things waiting for you the next time around. So don't, don't worry, no need to hoard, just go ahead and use it. So I was just putting it down, wasn't really uh, thinking about where it was going to go, obviously, because I put that one up in the corner, it's a little crooked, but it's okay, it's going to stay that way. Um, I, I, I'm okay with that. I am a-okay with that. 
Now this yellow catching rays, that was part of a frame and I didn't want to put the whole frame on my yellow. So I had cut that out and that rainbow ice cream. Yeah, it doesn't really, you know, it's not all pink. But that's okay because there's pink in it. So I am just going it with as much as I can just looking at bow sheets. Look at that. Look at that sheet. It is almost completely empty. And I'm like, yay me. And that's basically doing this one page. So I am so proud of myself. And when I, when I pulled that to do it for this month, I had no idea what I was going to do. I'm just so, so proud. And I'm sorry, the, the page is a little off. Uh, it's a little high up. It, you'll be, um, there are close ups at the end and you can see the, the whole page. Um, so not to worry, not to worry. So I'm just going to town using both of those sticker sheets. That little camper is really cute, but I never camp. So who am I kidding thinking I was going to use that later on? So even on that yellow, I pulled a little of the lime green. You can't really tell. They're so close. They're so similar. Okay, so the photo that I'm using, <clears throat> the reason why I chose this photo is that there's basically no color in it. It's a bunch of neutrals. And it's a photo of my older two girls. I don't usually have a lot of photos of my oldest one. But we had gone uh, to um, my youngest. I call her Munchkin. Uh, we went to her graduation in Sacramento. So it was definitely a family affair. Uh, she normally, my oldest one, she normally doesn't fly. She's very anxious about flying. So um, I pretty much forced her, picked her up, took her to the airport. You're flying with me. We're going to your sister's graduation. And she's like, okay. So that's how we did it. Now that black paper with the white stars, that was not in my kit, but I had just received that from uh, Christina. That was part of my prize pack. And I needed something black. Once again, I needed something neutral to go along with that rainbow paper that is behind the photo. And I had used a couple layers of the cardboard to, to give it some depth. And I just felt that that vacation just belonged at the bottom of the photo, you know, and once you stick it on there, you're done. So I'm like, well, got to make it work somehow because I was really just throwing things on here. Now, I did notice that my page was a little bland. I know all the color on color was good, but I needed something else. So I started with those black foam pieces, you know, the, the stars and the heart. And I thought, well, you know what sequins are my, you know, my go-to. I looked in my um, Spiegel Mom scrap. Uh, I'm sorry. My cat is just demanding my attention. Um, you know, I looked through my Spiegel Mom scraps selection and I don't have any black or dark colors like that. I have a navy, but that's not what I wanted. So I decided to go with my other sequins that I got from Pretty Pink Posh. And that is actually a charcoal gray. And I have it in two different sizes, like regular size sequin. And there's like little mini sequins. And they're kind of a matte. They're not shiny. They're um and and they fit perfect for this page. Well, now these are some more of the sequins I get I get from Pretty Pink Posh. And I'm just going to fill in with the colors. I don't need to do any more blues. I don't have that color blue in sequins. So I just filled it up with the charcoal. I really didn't need to add any blue anyway. But the orange on orange and the yellow and the pink. And it seemed to work out perfect. I'm very happy with the way that this turned out and how quick it all came together. I don't make you watch me put all those sequins down, but I do use Distress Collage Medium. I dip it in the medium and then I put it on the page using my tweezers and they are stuck. And if anyone wants 
to see how I do that. I'd be glad to do it, but it is a little boring. So here's the still shots. And if you like this video, if you give me a thumbs up and I encourage you to subscribe if you haven't already. You guys have a great day and until next time, bye-bye.